Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, and this is episode three, playing our first time through the British campaign on Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. I want to say thank you to all of you who have offered some great feedback. As I said in the first two episodes, I am very much a noob when it comes to naval warfare, especially Age of Sail naval warfare. So any tips that you can offer on how I can do this better are most welcome. And uh, so with that caveat, we're going to continue on here. Let's go ahead and take a look at our notifications as we move on. If you didn't see the first two episodes, there's a link in the description below that will take you back to episode one. And so what we're getting here is we're getting, first of all, the notifications for the available missions that we can take on. One is a land mission, one is a sea mission. Uh, so we can see both of those, second wave and crossfire. Uh, we've also got the result of our previous missions. This one, we did really well. We got a lot of money, some prestige, and a little bit of experience. Uh, Dinner for Admiral, not as much. That was kind of a mixed bag. Uh, we didn't win that one, but I did get in a little bit of money and lost some prestige. Uh, then we've got these couple of notifications here, and I guess these are probably alluding to future missions that will be coming down the pike. Sir, a few days ago, a crew member from our supply vessel Rochester reported a signal fire from one of the small islands in this location while fleeing from Spanish pursuit. Rochester's captain could not confirm the sailor's report, and it was initially disregarded. Since then, we've lost multiple vessels in the area. The officers agree a reconnaissance mission must be undertaken. Mike Stanley, Midshipman, HMS Robust. Okay, so... Oh, that's actually another available mission we've got here. It looks like we can send a recon mission. So we want to be careful with that one, I think, since we don't know exactly what we're getting into. I guess that's what the question marks are, is they're missions, but we don't know what the missions are exactly. So, uh, General Gilbert du Motier, Marquis de Lafayette, has arrived in Boston on the French frigate Hermione, sailing from Rochefort. He has brought news that he has secured French men and ships to support the mutineers, guns and ships, and so the balance shifts. All right. Um, there's another uh, question mark mission there. Son of a gun. Uh, th this day, a surgeon informed me that a woman on board, where did they hide her, has been laboring in childbirth for 12 hours. If I ordered a broadside to be fired leeward, nature would be assisted by the shock. That's awesome. I complied with the request, and she gave birth to a fine, healthy boy. Also, I've asked Jeremy Knox, my bosun, to ensure the admiralty restrictions against women at sea be observed henceforth. Those are personal notes. All right, new technology. Uh, we've got one more that we can go ahead and research here. Doubled hull frames. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, I want to go back and look at the situation. We do have four ships. None of them particularly large ships, but what we're going to do is we're actually going to do the... Um, we're going to do the the land mission first, I think. Uh, and so let's go ahead and take a look at what that mission entails. So we can hit play and we'll go into the mission screen. So here we have it, 25th May, 1780, against the Spanish. The Spaniards are constructing more fortified battery positions on the banks of the San Juan River. The Admiralty has been ordered to launch a raid on one of these positions. All available regulars have been dispatched to join your troops. They are eager to take part in this mission and revenge their brothers lost in the jungle. We shall lead the regulars and attack their settlement from land. We expect the Spaniards to move their forces from the bank to defend the settlement. Then the rest of your ships can safely sail in and land the rest of your forces for the final assault. So you can see the, the max that we're allowed to have. So apparently we'll only be able to use one of these ships... Uh, in support of the land forces. So in other words, the, the trip troops that are on that ship. Um, so we'll have to max those troops out and then we can over here, uh, use some additional forces and looks like we've got a max of 200 there available. So we'll have to figure all that out, go back into camp, get our forces ready to go and we'll launch this battle. All right. We've got 55,000 gold available right now. So the first thing I want to do is I'm looking at the number as far as the start and what they can have available to them. They can only go up to 310, so we've got to be careful to make sure that we're um, maxing that out the best way we can. Uh, we do have supply, fusiliers, and now skirmishers. We've uh, completed a recent um, upgrade to technology to allow for skirmishers, so... Uh, We'll see what skirmishers cost, 
and more importantly, what kind of weapons we have available to them. What's the best we've got? We've got Land Pattern 78 Musket. They're really good at melee combat uh, and pretty decent at range, but not as good at reloading. This one here reloads really fast, and they're excellent at melee combat, just not as much range. That might be the way to go here. Oh, there's zero of those, so that's not helpful at all. We've got 338 of these, 330 of these, but they're not very good at range at all. So I feel like this is probably the way to go, but honestly, I think I'm going to buy those for these guys. Or is that what they already have? Yeah, they've got those already, so... Um, we're going to use those for this this group as well. We'll buy some Fusiliers. Uh, we're just not going to have as many of them in this group. But it's still the best weapon I've got available to me. So uh, We'll start with 100. Let's see where that puts us on our weight. Actually, a little bit over. So we're going to have to bring that back some. Let's go ahead and put this second lieutenant in charge of them. You can see all the different... Um, stats that are available to each of these leaders so those are all very helpful things efficiency discipline melee firearms morale and stamina so let's go ahead and upgrade them we've got a hundred there so we're going to draw back chamberlain's force just a tad to get us down to the proper weight oh didn't mean to do that i just totally dismissed that guy that was really unfortunate that's probably going to mess up my stats completely. So I'm going to go back and kind of fix that. All right, I fixed all of that. Uh, we got the troops the way we want them now. We've got 175 here under Chamberlain. Uh, an additional 100 Fusiliers here. Uh, we'll probably have to start coming up with some good names for these uh, as well. And, um, of course, for the, the patrons on Patreon, uh, I've started reaching out to me with names. And we're ready to go with the first one, but I think we need a better ship. Uh, before we come come up with a name, we're gonna buy this fifth rate Hermione class frigate. It's gonna be the fifth or the first frigate that we've got uh, in our navy. So let's go ahead back to the harbor, and we're gonna go ahead and name it. And this is for you, Andrew Snodgrass. He reached out to me and asked if this would be an okay name, and I said I thought it was absolutely fantastic. As a fan of uh, studying the Tudor era, he wanted to come up with the HMS Murderous Henry. In honor of Henry VIII. So the, the murderous Henry is now in our Navy. And there are a lot of available upgrades to this. I don't think we're going to do any of them quite yet. Just because this is a land mission. And I want to hang on to some of that money. Uh, because we're not going to really be using murderous Henry for much beyond troop transport. Uh, and kind of escort. So uh, we do have guns that are available. I've got 68 of these Armstrong's guns available. They seem to be the best ones we currently have. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and add as many of those as we can put on this ship. It isn't going to cost a whole lot to do that. And you can see there's still a ton of available weight. We've got four officers that are needed for a fifth-rate Hermione-class frigate. So we're going to go in and hire our officers now, and you can see it automatically highlights the uh, particular skills that are needed in the various areas. So uh, for this particular officer, uh, we need uh, efficiency and morale. So uh, this one here requires sailing. This one requires gunnery. And this one requires boarding. Uh, so we can see here that this guy by far is our best when it comes to boarding. So we're definitely going to add Vasily Moisev. Uh, interesting, looks like we've got a Russian uh, in our Navy. I guess that's probably not real uncommon. Uh, nobody's really particularly good with gunnery. Uh, so I think we'll go with John Burns, who's by far the best when it comes to sailing. We're going to add him right there for sure. And then uh, either way we go here, we've got a, a problem where they're either going to be really low in one and high in the other or high in one and low in the other. And I feel like intelligence probably matters more than willpower in this case. So that's what we're going to go with. And there we go. So we've got our crew now, or our officers now. Now we need crew. And this is our minimum amount right there. But we we're going to go for optimal, which appears to be right around uh, 206. 
and I think that probably works out. Now, let's look at the available guns that we can replace. It looks like these ones are a little better. So let's go there. So we've got an optimal crew now for the Murderous Henry. 46 guns on that frigate. Uh, we're down to about 14,000 in gold, but I feel like we're pretty in pretty good shape. So let's go ahead and look at the mission after we we got to finish Max and I. Well, let me see the mission and see where we're at and see if we can still add more troops. Okay, so it's not going to let us use the Murderous Henry at all here just because the Murderous Henry has... Well, yeah, I guess we can uh, for the C part of the mission. Um, okay, a start, of course, is going to go over here, and that's going to be the only one we'll be able to take, but we will be able to bring the Muscovy in as reinforcements. So we're going to go ahead and, and raise these ones up as much as we can. Uh, the weight, uh, so to speak, is based on the size of the ship, I guess. So uh, in this case, we could pro we can add both the Muscovy and the Ferret to this. So um, we could also probably go in and buy another small uh, transport vessel to add some additional troops, but I don't know if we'll have enough money for that. So it might have been better off to hold off on buying Murderous Henry, but uh, you live, you learn. All right, there we go. So we're going to have an additional 275 troops available on the HMS Muscovy. So between those two, that'll be our additional forces uh, to add to the regulars that I'm given for this mission. So let's go ahead and dive into it and see what happens. Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and dive into this battle and see what we're up against. Captain, the Spaniards should have been alerted by now. We immediately need to commence the assault. I seem to remember this being one of the missions we did early in the release when you had just a few land missions. So they probably gave us like the early missions for the campaign. Our first target is the settlement here. We expect the Spaniards to move their forces from the bank to defend their settlements here and on that island. So we're probably going to have to fight a battle here and then again across this bridge. That'll be fun. Then our ships will sail in to land troops to join the attack. Godspeed, Captain. All right, here we go. So we've got some artillery. We've got some Marines on either side. Some fusiliers behind those, and then my force right here, uh, Pelu, and actually no, are those mine? All right, let's go. We'll start just marching across here, and if we run into any troops in the meantime, then we'll deal with them. I would imagine we'll at least see some skirmishers. Let's, let's hold off the artillery until we can let these other troops pass because I don't want the artillery leading the way into a bunch of skirmishers and take some unnecessary casualties. All right, so far so good. By the way, somebody asked if they could see the graphic settings, and uh, I think I showed these before, but there you have it. Uh, I'm on high. Uh, I haven't tried going up to ultra yet, but I don't have a real high-end system, so I feel like I'm pretty content to stay right where I am. Uh, as always, I keep the music off just for the purposes of uh, recording these videos. Uh, the music always adds something, I think, when you're playing this game on your own. So let's go ahead and start sending some troops in this way. I want to I want to at least send one unit up on this hill because I, I don't want to expose my flank to anything he might be doing up there. And then we'll keep these two down here in the middle for the time being, at least until we figure out where he is and what he's got going on. There we go, skirmishers. Now with only 30 men like this, I feel like if I could get in there and charge these guys, that would be ideal just kind of dissolve them right away so I don't have them annoying me on my flank somewhere. I'm going to bring the artillery up and put them right on that road so they've got a nice open area of the fire. Ah, 
He's not going to let me charge him. He's going to fire and run, fire and run. I'm going to bring these guys around. I want to try and come at this village from three sides if I can. All right, he does have skirmishers up there. I kind of expected he'd probably have them somewhere over there. I'm going to bring these guys over a hair. Actually, let's shift this whole line this way. Because we're going to bring the guns up. Alright, now we've got a, a more substantial force facing us in the woods here. Alright, we just eliminated the uh, skirmishers. And there's some artillery. So I'm going to bring back house around. I want to try and neutralize that artillery before they can start hitting my flanks. Let's see where we're at here. We don't quite have a view of the village yet. We're going to move these guys over just a little bit more. Just a little bit more to get into musket range. Ah, oh, see, he can't hit me from there. <laughs> Lovely. keep these guys on this flank here once I neutralize these guns then we'll start pushing forward I want to get in get this unit over here helping against Castro take the guns eliminated that unit of skirmishers so we're solid here I want to move these guns up a little further I'm gonna break off a unit of skirmishers from these guys just to get out here and protect my flank a little more because I don't know what might be out there all right we took the guns but it doesn't look like it's gonna allow me to capture them it looks like we just shattered the unit but now we can come in on Castro here. Okay, we just spotted another unit in the... the denseness of things down here. What's up, Castro? How are you going to handle this? Alright, let's move these guns up a little more. I want to make sure that they don't have any potential friendly fire issues here. We've got an hour and 20 minutes left to capture this first settlement, so we've got to keep that in mind. Okay, we've routed Castro. Let's start closing in now. I'm actually going to have the artillery fire on Avala, because I don't want any issues with friendly fire here. I think we're solid. I'm going to go ahead and reattach these skirmishers once we move up here and confirm there's nothing back here. Fire. 
really not enough room for all of my forces to be on the front lines here. Nice thing is once we capture this village, we're going to get a nice bonus on supplies. So we haven't needed to bring supplies into battles yet, because it does take up one of my unit slots to have supply. Right, I'm going to have to move the guns again. Hour and 12 minutes, I think we'll be okay. Shift back house over a little bit. Now we'll go ahead and bring these guys in from this side. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to drop Coiny back and put this bigger unit up there. From. Oh, there's artillery back there. Okay. Must be artillery across the river. We got these buildings in the way from being able to fire on these guys more effectively. And we're out in the open and he's got cover, so let's push in. What's our melee like on these Marines? Very good. Okay. So we'll get a volley off on Castro and then we're charging in. Now he may take some fire from Avala, but or Ayala, but I want to be careful. Oh, no, there's Avala. Oh, there's regular surrender. Let's get them out of here. Still an hour to go. So far, so good. You can see Godolphin, uh, 55 kills, 16 deaths. Backhouse, 52 and 35. Uh, Pelu, 100, with 175 men, they've got 62 kills and zero deaths. Coiny, 39 and two. English, pretty even. Barlow's got 30 kills with the gun so far, and these guys have largely been inactive. Alright, I'm going to move the, the guns up here to the river so we can advance without fear of friendly fire. How's the melee on the Fusiliers? Pretty good. Charge in there, boys. We got low ammo, but that's good. That's okay because we're about to grab these supplies, which will eliminate that issue. All right, he's sending reinforcements across the river. Probably should have moved up the guns a hair sooner. We could have been covering that bridge with artillery fire. Let's hurry up and grab the supplies here. I'm going to send these guys out to round. How about we fire on them? We'll 
militia surrendered. Let's get them out of there. We've grabbed the supplies. Make sure we don't move any further forward and get into the line of fire of the guns. I don't like how we're all bunched up in here. Let's get Pelu through there as quick as possible. Oh, he's gonna charge right into me, huh? Gotta be careful about friendly fire here. Oh, wow. Look at this. He's charging everybody in. Regularis surrendered. They can't make up their mind if they're going to surrender or not. They surrender and then they unsurrender. Just because they're contact in contact with other units. Wow. Make up your mind, guys. You gonna surrender or not? Okay, our ships are approaching. We're gonna get our reinforcements now. Let's land the troops and join forces for the final strike. All right. Let's see if we can, oh, they're, they're gonna break back across the river now. So unfortunately we're not gonna get the, uh, the surrender on some of those units we were hoping for, but that's okay. Oh man, we were pursuing them all the way across. All right, let's get get these guys reattached first of all. Let's get our guns firing on these folks across the river. Let's get our troops into cover. In fact, I'm going to pull Godolphin back. Uh, we got to get these guns resupplied, so let's pull them over here. But then we're going to try to take out his guns. I'm going to pull back until I can get my reinforcements and get everybody resupplied. There's the murderous Henry making her debut. So we'll come up here and we'll just kind of park right off the edge there, right off the beach. We're still waiting on the other ones. Let's get everybody full supply. Looks like our guns are there now. I'm going to park Pelu right here because it looks like he may try to cross the bridge. So we'll get some fire on anybody who tries to do that. We'll have the guns covering the bridge as well. These guys are supplied. These guys are supplied. Everybody else is ready to go. What's up, Costa? I don't know what you were thinking there. We may shatter a couple of these smaller units trying to cross. I've got to take out those guns. We'll get Murderous Henry up here. Let's get over here and start unloading gonna have to basically drop anchor so to speak to make sure that one doesn't just kind of float off down the river another unit trying to cross say hello to him and now I'm gonna bring the guns up because I want to I want to get some counter battery fire going he, he looks like he's got two batteries over here we're not gonna try to cross until we get the reinforcements I'm going to pull Pelu back into full cover. He's hitting my, my battery as well. Whoa, what's going on here? 
Ouch. I need to spot his battery. I can't see it for some reason. How about if we break off some skirmishers, then we'll be able to see him. Ready! Did he pull him back? He must have pulled him back. Because I don't see his batteries. Alright, Murderous Henry, that's probably far enough for you. We've got two and a half hours to capture the island, so we've got to be cautious of the time. Oh, my battery's taking some fire, and I can't even see his battery. He's obviously got better spotting and range than I do. There we go. There, now we can see him. See those Spanish battle flags just laying on the ground. That's kind of cool. Company to me. All right. You go ahead and stop. Let's unload these troops. Get them on the beach. And then we can press ahead. No, skirmishers, what are you doing? Darn it. I'm gonna lose those guys. There we go, we wiped him out. Pelu, no, 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 no. What are you doing? Get out of there. Ah. Oh. Now I've gotta go. I just lost all of those men because they wouldn't reattach and they ins insisted on charging. Oh, that was not fun at all. That was brutal. That was completely unnecessary. Good news is most of his units that are over there are really small and probably one or two volleys away from shattering. All right, here come the reinforcements. And looks like he's going to try to cross the bridge again. I don't know why he's doing that, but it's amazing. It makes my job way easier. Wow. I think we got some canister fire there. Completely shattered that unit of Marines. Okay, we just got to be careful because some of these units of mine have lost a lot of men. Actually, some of these units aren't my men. That's kind of the important thing to remember. They're the troops that have been given to me. take out that battery. While we wait for reinforcements, oh, he's going to go ahead and cross again. Let's let him cross and hit him when he gets to the other side. We'll shatter him. Bye-bye. Keep doing it, guys. Oh, man. 
my silly AI. Keep crossing with these little units so I can shatter them. Make my own crossing much easier. Here come the reinforcements. We're gonna finish off that battery. Two hours, plenty of time. If only the uh, sea battles were as easy for me. That's where my learning curve will be. I probably could have done land battles on medium difficulty and sea battles on easy until I get get my sea leg, so to speak. How are we doing on supply? How, I guess we must be close enough that we're staying in supply range. Let's let these guys cross. Maybe. I wiped out one battery, but I feel like there's still another one over there. Alright, let's go ahead and begin the crossing. We'll lead with our fresh units, Chamberlain and Hanson. And then we'll follow with this 115 man marine unit. Wiped out another one. Alright, Chamberlain, time to cross the bridge. Oh, this is just, it looks really pretty. I want to get a good look at this. We gotta watch, we got some units up here. We're gonna fire on them though. Oriana. Oh yeah, hello. Okay, we'll send Hansen over that way. Looks like we gotta cross without too much trouble. We do have a 75 man unit over here to be cautious of. Oh good. Let me push them out. It makes my job easier. Nice volley. This unit surrendered. Let's get him out of here. I'm gonna shift Hansen over. Oh, De Leon's gonna charge right into Chamberlain, which appears to have been a smart move for him because he's obviously got better melee combat than than I do. Wow, that's bad. That's actually really bad. This is not going well. Holy cow! Those guys were not well equipped for melee combat and it showed. A 58 man unit just lit into them. We'll see how you do against these guys. So melee has got a huge part to pay in, play in all this. Wow, these guys are really tough. Chamberlain just got destroyed because of melee combat. These guys aren't doing much better. What the heck does this guy have going for him, De Leon? All right, he's down to 33 now. Good night. That was scary. Chamberlain lost 56 men. And he still threw back Chermside, even though he's down to just 29 men. Jeez, why can't we get these guys to route? Get the guns across. We'll go ahead and send Chamberlain back. Start sending everybody over. Still got an hour and 35 to take the island. I have a feeling we may be facing a counterattack after that. Flanked from. Oh, hey, battery. Unexpected.
Wow, he routed those guys. Jeez, I didn't know they were over there. Secured the island, but not without cost. Oh, there's a 93-man unit there. And now he secured it back. This is not going to be easy. Get these guys across. Is that everybody? No, we still got two units back here. Yeah, look, reinforcements on the way. Some bigger units. All right, English, you need to run. We need to get over there and deal with this battery once and for all. So he's not out there on my flank. Wow, he's got quite a few units coming across. See, now I'm really worried about any melee charge he makes, because if any of those these guys are as good in melee combat as De Leon was, I will be in big trouble, no matter how big my units are. Okay, we wiped out his battery. Now we're gonna put our battery over in that spot. And let's get some help back here. This thing is far from settled. Good night. He's got a lot of big units that are coming in as reinforcements. De Leon, we got to get him out of there. Because here he comes again. Yeah. Now he's got me scared every time he charges. Because that was crazy. Oh, we don't want... We don't want Chamberlain over there. We need to leave an open spot for the guns. Drop out, drop out. Where's he going? Get out of there. These guys are terrible with melee. Here's a good melee unit. Let's send them in. So we can get around on this plank. These guys are too. All right, let's get these guns firing. Chamberlain's in a good spot if he just stays right there. Alright, let's 
get in there. We shattered his Marines. Hopefully we can shatter San, uh, San Germain. Let's get him shattered. Our guns are firing on his. If we can get him pushed across that bridge, then we can force him to come at me. Careful, friendly fire. Hold. Hold your fire. Now you can fire. Oh boy, these are the guys that can't fight in melee. Oh jeez. Get out, get out. No, no, fall back. I issue a fall back order and what do they do? They're running toward him. Ah, uh, jeez. Get English over there. Field artillery shattered. Excellent. We've got 17 minutes left on the contested island. I don't know if the battle will continue after that. Because there's more back here, so I feel like we may not be done. Now we're at the place where we're going to hold the territory and he's going to have to come at us. That's alright. We'll do the melee thing with you. Oh, look at you go. Right into me. Tell you what, the AI is wise enough to know when he's got the advantage with melee combat against a unit that can fire on it better. But in that case, too little. That should just about do it, at least for this part. Let's see if there's more to this battle after this. I hope not, because man, am I in bad shape. I need to refit in the worst way. That was a tough battle. I definitely made some mistakes along the way. Three minutes left, contested. Is that it? All right, there it is, a victory. Thousand men, I lost 591 of them, wow. But an additional 287 crew over there on my ship, which did not get involved. Um, all right, so we captured 355 guns that time. That's nice. Uh, we got a promotion. I am now Lieutenant Horatio Nelson. I think I already was, but um, you can see there, Chamberlain, even though he took 87 casualties, he also inflicted 269. That field artillery, excellent. 210. Hopefully we start getting some leveled up. And all of this. So let's go ahead and take a look at where things stand before we go into gulp our next naval battle, which will be interesting to see. All right, I've got 26,883. Let's look here. France, uh, oh, that, we already saw all these things. Oh, wait, uh, his route, yeah, helped the mutineers. We saw these things. 
new technology. That's nothing new. So I, I think we, we have all the same information as we did before until we go to the next stage, which will probably involve waiting until after these couple of things are done. But I do want to at least look at my troops. I have one career point to spend. I'm thinking I might want to look at some other places to do that. Shipbuilding, repair cost. Repair cost would probably be a good thing to have moving forward. Once I've played through the whole campaign, I'm going to have a lot better idea of what I would, how I would like to spend those points. All right. So took a lot of casualties there, especially for Chamberlain. We'll uh, we'll not worry about re reinforcing all of that just yet because we've got a battle we're going into in the sea next. Let's take a look and see what all we can take into that one. Hopefully, more than just the uh, murderous Henry. Okay, we can take 140 total, which means if we take the murderous Henry, we're not taking anything else except the alert. So we will get those two ships ready to go. That's going to give us a total of 58 guns, but hopefully having that nice one big ship will make it a little easier for me as I'm still getting my sea legs and figuring all this out. It'll be a little easier to deal with one ship than having to deal with many ships, and hopefully it can hold up against whatever we face. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please drop a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you again in the next day or two with the next episode in this series. Thanks for watching.